And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex, and we're going to do a grunge off today. With grunge off! Three grunge pedals. Yes. Yep. Oh, two DODs and a Digitech, which is kind of same, same. Well, kind of the same. I mean, Digitech used to be, this is sort of, I'm a bit of a DOD nerd, so Digitech used to be... Enthusiast. Enthusiast, yes. <laughs> D Digitech used to be the digital division of DOD. So they were meant mm. to do all the digital stuff, and then that sort of took the forefront. But anyway, so yeah, we've got uh, one of the original um, grunges. What's the mo model? FX69. FX69. FX then we've got the FX69B, and we've got the Digitech version of it, which mm. grunge and a death metal are, the, uh, I believe, the only two that sort of survived the transition to Digitech. Cool. We're going to shoot out. Uh, if you could hit like and subscribe on the channel, give us a thumbs up, and any comments or questions below. And... Yes, please. The, oh, the setup today, you might want to know yes. that. Yes, 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 yes. Got yes. some lovely guitars going through the grunges into a Moztronics amp switcher. And today we... Andrew. Yeah, hey, man. <laughs> and today we're using a Cherry Tone OTS Mini 20, which is kind of a clean, dumbly type thing. And it's basically just like a Fender thing, basically. And you can't see it, and it's there, but we might take a photo of it. It's over there. Um, yes. That's also going through a uh, single 12 in a ISO cab, marked as a little MTP 40. Hey, little people. As well as a two notes torpedo capter X doing oh, some stereo behind all lots of stuff there of trinkets over there. Let's do some stereo IRs with a little bit of re reverb in case we need it. And there's a video for the capter X there. Mm. And hello, Guillaume and Jason. G'day. All right, uh, let's do this. That's the rig. Do you want to start? Or do you want me to start? Sure. You start. I'm quite grungy. Okay. <coughs> oh, you're the, the ultimate in grunge. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yoo -hoo. Um, so this one I think originally came out in 1993. This one is probably from sort of 93, 94. I bought it, I think in 94 I got it. Did you so, buy it new? Yeah, this is brand yeah, new. Right. I had it first and only owner. Ah. <clears throat> I was I massive grunge Driven fan. on Sundays. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, lots of um, jam sessions with tiny little amps and lots of eh, feedback and stuff. Sweet. Um, I think in 94 I got it. But, okay. um, so it's from around that. These, I believe, uh, they changed the enclosure. So late 90s, so around 98. Um, 97, 98, DoD went from these enclosures to these enclosures, uh, with the, also the different um, power supply. The you know instead of having the headphone mm. style jack to the normal kind of nine volt uh, like Boss style um, uh, su power supply. Uh, but 98, and then it was in the 2000s when we went to that. So there you go. Mm. History lesson. Okay, so let's try it out. Mm. Um, now, the thing with the grunge is yep. right. Um, and this is very un me, but I think the key to the grunge is turn the gain down, which is grunge. Mm. So this one's got the old loud butt face and grunge, and there they went to loud, low, high and grunge on those. But I mean, butt but. is down low and face is up high. It makes they total sense. Kept, kept the butt face. <laughs> the butt face. Um, the key with the grunge, I think, is, is keep, the, keep the grunge, the drive, relatively low mm. and keep the face fairly low. It's, and then you're good. It can be super cutty head offy Techn that's a technical term that's not a thing so let's know. start off with the original one okay. at that setting that's what, the setting it was on whatever that's so clean sound <laughs> It's a killer sounding pedal. It's pretty massive. Like for a high gain distortion pedal. Yeah. To me, it's more of a, almost like more of a metal pedal than a grunge pedal. But I think so too. Uh, and I think, and I'll, I'll use a different guitar later on. It, to me, it excels when you tune down a bit as well. Mm. Cool. So lower tunings. Okay, so that's that. Now let's try. Okay. 
and I know it's never the same because pots are different, but let's do exactly the same settings. Yo. And let's go from this one to that one, and then from that one to that one. It is almost at the same settings anyway. So let's just, just to see, just for fun, right? Shell. So, original one. <laughs> Those two are pretty identical. Very, very That one's thing. a little bit different. That is, yeah. That one's slightly different and louder as well, I find. Cool. Uh, it's a bit more punch as something going on. Yeah, it's a little bit different, but those are at it, pretty much the same settings, pretty identical. Mm. Okay, well, let's try it now. Go on your guitar. With uh, uh, Parts Master Caster, Blaster Master Caster, Blaster Caster Master Blaster, and there's a video for that there. Uh, with some fantastic Martin A. Smith pickups, I'll be mostly on a bridge pickup, which is a or well, pretty much only on a bridge, bridge pickup, which is a wide range pickup. And clean, it sounds suchly. Is that thing even on? <laughs> it's quieter than that thing. Oh, and the reverb you hear, I might turn it down a smidge. Nah, it's from the awesome. captor. All right, uh, old, old man. Yes. And I'll, I'll turn this on too. <laughs> See what he did there. Yeah, well, it goes extreme. The get, the that, like radio sound. The massively active, massively active uh, EQ on that. The lows yeah. and highs, and it's kind of lows and mids. I think that mm. as you turn the lows up. Boosts a lot of the mids as well, and the highs is just highs to very very high highs. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I mean gain is it's That's high gain. Off. So it it no, no gain. It it you yeah. don't need the gain super high because it almost gets too much in my opinion. Um, but you need more than that. You do you lose some clarity. After you lose some clarity. Yeah. <laughs> Three times the fun. You can tweak this one to get pretty damn close, but it's not quite identical. Those are the, the, the normal one and the B, I think, are pretty much the same. Let's quickly try, because yeah, yeah. I think to me, the grunge kind of shines a lot of times with lower tunings. So this is my Carvin, or now called Kiesel CT6, uh, all stock, uh, tuned to drop C, hmm. uh, which clean sounds like this, which clean sounds like this.
That's scary. That's a lot of luck, man. the pick harmonics that they're so easy to get with that yeah but it's I, I really like it i'm a fan of the grunge it's the top end that kind of makes it great and also scary at the same time it's a really fine line between going way too bright yeah and then it goes it's sort of in between that very yeah you've got to find it but um i find i find with a lot of it is is keeping the treble low and then boosting the bass there's a lot of bass there but it also brings in some of those mids that kind mm. of make it come through a bit more like all this weight and punch to it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Obviously, we're not kind of playing super grungy. Well, we've stone, had stone and stuff. We actually did a video of of those two, yeah. um, which you can watch here. It's quite an old video of ours, and people kept complaining that we're not playing, you know, it's grunge and you're not playing any grunge songs. But you, quite often, you can't really play songs in YouTube videos because you get blocked or demonetized because record companies won't let you do that sort of stuff yeah. so that's why we don't do it but we're just playing sort of riffs and stuff that may be in similar vein of things um but yeah so what are your thoughts i'm the i'm the dod and grunge guy yeah you can watch actually like, also while i'm at it you can watch my video of just a grunge there yeah. the original one i think they're very likable things yeah like they're very fun like even this new or modern one they have the uh, crackle effect in the paint. Uh, it's just and and, and just, just that was one fun. of the things. That was one of the things with the original ones as well. You yeah. put five of them next to each other; they all look different mm. because that was all. See, that, that's why I I, I, I mentioned DoD a lot, and especially the, particularly this once this came out, which is the, what they call a Jason Lamb era, because the guy who made all that stuff was a guy called Jason Lamb. Um, Checks out. Um, one of the, to me, one of the sort of original boutique makers, and not boutique in terms of using super high specs, because they've got quite cheap pedals, um, but someone who went for a niche market, did something a little bit, or not a little bit, quite different. I mean, if you think early 90s, yeah. what else was there? There was Boss, there was Ibanez, there was maybe Nobles. Maxon. Maxon, well, Ibanez, Maxon. Electro Harmonics, they're kind of mainstream. But it was very, you know, straightforward. Yeah. I think these are one of the first guys to really go way left of center. And they were a big company. Especially cosmetics, like what the pedal looks like. That's what I mean. That's what I mean. And having things like the grunge and having a pedal like the, the Buzzbox, for example, mm. which is like a stupid pedal. Yeah. Um, but, you know, to actually do something in a mainstream environment. So to me... It's, and the grunge, I think, was one of the original ones because I think it was a grunge and a death metal and stuff that came out um, around the same time in, in 93. Very sort of, ground, to me, groundbreaking series of pedals. Okay. And, yeah, so what are your thoughts? I mean, what did you hear when you when you heard us play those three? Um, to me, those two are almost identical. Yep. I mean, I'm sure if you put two or three of this version and two or three of this version next to each other, they will all sound ever so slightly different because they all do, all pedals do hmm. vary a little bit. But to me, they are pretty much identical. That one is a little bit different. Yeah, if you keep tweaking, you could probably get it pretty damn close, but it's not identical. Not identical. Um, whether that's good or bad, that's another debate. But this also has a direct out, direct to mixer out. Yes. Which is totally awesome. Chats thing apparently yeah so uh, <laughs> yeah comments questions below so what you think yeah anything yeah. else we need to add no yeah. well um, also below the video there's a link to our facebook instagram and podcast yes chit -chat about all this and we'll stuff. most likely be talking about this very th these very pedals and mm. around i don't know episode 108 109 something yeah, like that up to that number cool yeah so thanks for watching see you soon